gonna be doing this because I can protect Teemo, right? I, I can protect um, Fizz in case he tries to kill it. He has only three cards in hand. I know this card, this card right there is a combat trick. Yeah, I thought that this would happen, so I'm gonna go for Entreat and stop that. So I guess he doesn't have anything else. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Genie, and today I'm bringing you guys the anti-control fish boy. And this guy right here, he really counters Israel Dax quite a lot. Because you see, Israel Dax right now are trying to rely on Make It Rain or multiple, um, or on spells that targets multiple units, right? So they're random, meaning that if they hit Fizz, right? So if Make It Rain hit Fizz and you play a spell, you're gonna cancel all the the targets not only fez so that's the beauty of this card it's actually very fun to play fizz is one of my favorite champions he's definitely one of my favorite champions as well as vlad shin and fizz right these are my three favorite champions and in this video you guys are gonna see why i'm bringing entreat because not drawing fizz and not drawing sejuani means that you're screwed right as a as an end game we have riptide and we have Battle Fury as well to try and, uh, you know, push some more damage off later on. We have a lot of spells to combo with Fizz because we do need a lot of spells to combo with Fizz. We have a total of 17 spells, but we also have Yordal Grifter, which is, uh, he counts as one spell as well with Warning Shot, right? So we have a lot of spells in this deck. This deck combos with um, Buffy, right? Um, with Starlit Seer. We have Shared Spoils. So a lot of things on our deck are going to be buffed. You guys are going to see that on the video as well. A lot of very big units. The concept of the deck is very simple. I'm gonna be giving... Let me give one tip to you guys so you guys can maneuver a little bit better um, on control matchups, right? So in control matchups, what you want to do is have Fizz, right? This is one of the most important cards you, ha you, you have. Um, mainly on turn 8 when it's Riptide Rex turn, right? You want to have Fizz because if the Riptide Rex targets Fizz, you can nullify everything that targets Fizz, right? So he, he's very, very good at that. One thing that I'm gonna be... You know, I can't stress this enough, if you pick Fizz and uh, you kill him, you pretty much lost the game. This guy is your removal removal, pretty much, right? So if you don't have him, you know, it can get out of fuel, right? Because this card is really what makes the deck work. This deck has also very obvious counters, right? So for instance, Frostbite mid-range counters it pretty badly because we are counting on buffed units, right, to win. They have that 5-1 that, you know, pulls, that, that has Challenger, right, that can cannot block. So they have a lot of things that really counters us here. And uh, not only that, but every Frostbite spell is um, burst speed, so Fizz doesn't really work with that. Sadly, I wish only some were were burst spell but no every frostbite spell is a burst spell and also if you find like a deck like a fiora deck or something then fizz doesn't work obviously right because there are there's a lot of challengers but considering that we are running around a lot of you know control decks fizz is phenomenal fizz is very very fun to play as i'm going to show you guys on this video so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to support me if you want to see more of me right if you want to help me buy a new camera a new microphone and uh improve the quality of the channel don't forget to leave a comment as well because you know i want to know what you think about the deck and about the meta I, i'm finding the meta kind of it's kind of getting old already um you know seeing so much israel is kind of getting old that's why i brought fez because I kind of got tired of seeing too much Israel. Don't forget to leave a like on the video as well. And at last, we have a Discord channel. And if you want to, if you're a civilized human being, and you think, okay, I want to get in the channel, then you might, because there is a lot of fun people there. If you don't wanna, ah, eh, that's on you as well. You want, you want to do something. You don't want to do something. That's on you, right? Um, not gonna be any hard feelings because you don't want to join the Discord channel. That's completely fine. So yeah, guys, let's go for the games. See ya. Okay, so is this aggro? Because I mean, the the region combination having Darius kind of means that he kind of means that he's 
gonna try to pressure me as much as he can, right? Riptide Rex is a little bit early, obviously. Even though, even if it wasn't an aggro matchup, Riptide Rex is not a card that you really want to keep in your hand. Okay, so he doesn't have a one drop. Which is actually interesting. I'm gonna be going for Omen Hawk because there's a possibility that I'm gonna be buffing Fist, for instance. Alright, don't mind that. Okay. Worse is one. Also good to buff. Really, you're still gonna play you're still playing that deck. Interesting. Okay, so we're going for a Starlet Seer here. Alright. Gonna be blocking like this and like this. Okay. Um, only one card can kill me, or two, right? I, I think this deck probably runs Mystic Shot as well. It kind of makes sense that it does. I'm gonna be playing Yordle. Eh. All right. <laughs> Pretty bad, but okay. I'm gonna be attacking with Yordle, I guess. He can have buffs, right? It's actually not that bad for me to attack with it. If he blocks here, um, it's not that bad. Alright. Okay. Don't really mind that. Nice! That's actually pretty good. Okay. So I'm gonna be using... This, right here. Guess I have a decent plan on how to do things. Really? Okay, so in that case, I'm gonna be doing it a little bit differently. I'm gonna be doing it like this. I was going to buff um, Starlet Seer, but I guess I'm gonna be doing it like this. If that's the point. Okay. This actually feels a little bit bad. I'm gonna be, be, be doing it like this. Even if I lose Yordle, he's still gonna have one health, so it's not that relevant for me. All right, he got three cards in hand only. Nice, fantastic. I can actually play Fizz and have ways to protect him. I'm gonna do it. Nice. Gonna be playing Sejuani. Onto that guy. Fizz is never dying here. Ever. Decimate. Okay. I'm attacking with everything here. I don't really care. I need to make him go down as down um, as further down as I can. I can't play warning shot. Otherwise, Timo is going to be left unprotected. You know, and, and uh, by that I play, I mean play warning shot because Okay. I mean play warning shot because it would buff the top card of my deck, right? Pocket Aces is very nice. Okay. Darius doesn't scare me too much. Doesn't scare me at all, actually. I'm passing. I'm gonna be sacrificing Sejuani. Taking one damage. Maybe I should have used the other Sejuani, but I think this is lethal. Yeah, it is. Okay, I have lethal. Just need to connect with my hits. If this connects, he's dead. 
he's still dead. Okay. Guess I, yeah, yeah, okay. Gonna leave it at that. He's still dead. There's no way he actually survives this, I guess. So let's do it like this. And he dies. Yeah, he probably realized it. Okay. Interesting. I mean, at least he was playing something different, right? He was not the old Israel that everyone is playing at the moment, so... Yeah, good game. Okay, so Garen and Brom. <laughs> when I want to face Israel, they don't come. They, 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 they don't get to my freaking game. That's actually annoying. Battle Fury may be a way to deal with Garen. I'm gonna keep it. I have only one in my deck. I can use a um, warning shot with uh, shared spoils as well, so might as well, considering that I have a Yordal Grifter in hand. Nice. Okay. Now, do you have a two? Dr you don't have a two drop. What the hell are you playing, dude? What the hell are you playing? You don't have a two drop? What do you mean? What do you mean you don't have a two drop? That's actually so weird. I'm gonna be buff I'm gonna be buffing my deck like there's no tomorrow. Like there's no tomorrow, really. Wow, I'm gonna be buffing my deck like there's no tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna be going for entreat first. I'm gonna be going for shared spoils now. <laughs> Guys, it's um, it's a patty officer um, eight seven. By the way, this is an eight seven patty officer. Oh, you're playing a Poro deck. Okay, no, okay, now I got you. I got you. Okay, now I understand. Now I understand the plan. All right, interesting. Okay, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna be blocking because they kind of did their thing already. Interesting, interesting guys. I'm gonna be going for Patty Officer because he's massive. Guys, this is um. 8-7. Patty Officer. 8-7. You guys are not understanding what I'm telling you. Oh, God. I can actually play this. But maybe I should start removing this freaking Poros. But actually this is so much power. This is so po But if I play this, I'm not gonna have mana for anything else. So maybe maybe Sishwani is the play to go for. Um, killing this guy seems valuable. I'm gonna be doing it like this, I guess. Actually, like this. All right, because I wanna I want Sishwani to stay alive. He's going all in with the Poros. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. Okay. This is interesting. I like this. I like this. Okay. This is this is being fun. This is being fun, guys. This is being fun. Okay. So the dream is on, fellas. The dream is on. All right. I'm passing then. I need space on my board. I'm gonna be doing it like this. Right? The buffing is real. 
the buffing is real. I'm gonna be going for Yordo Grifter and uh, I'll be leveling up Sejuani next turn. I think it's time for me to sacrifice one of these guys, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Radiant Guardian, alright. So Sejuani is gonna be leveled up. I can attack to it. I can attack with her pretty safely here, because I'm gonna have Battle Fury, right? That's a six-six Omen Hawk. Holy crap! Um, let's do it like this. All right. Okay. Okay, so I can do this. If I do this onto her, I'm gonna be dealing 8 more damage to the face. I think this is pretty good. Is that 13? 4. It's actually pretty massive. It's going down to 5. I mean, you have 2 mana, what can you have? Okay, don't really mind that, actually. I actually don't really mind that. I'm gonna be removing this guy and, attack and attacking after, so... actually don't mind that. I'm getting dangerously low, though. I give him that. I give him that. And I don't really have a way to proc my Sejuani, even if I play her. But I'm actually gonna have to play her. Actually, I do have a Witch Brocker. It's actually fantastic for me. It's actually fantastic. And I have to play her right now because I need to stop these elusives. So, the way I'm gonna do this right here is actually doing this because I need to stop that guy from doing anything. I need to stop him. Okay, so considering that he did that, I'm gonna do this. Right? Because this way I freeze everything, yeah. Okay, so he's playing he was playing a Poro deck. Interesting. That's an interesting idea, like I'm um, playing Garen with it. Haven't seen this before. I usually I see that with Lux. But yeah, good game. Alright, so we use TF. Took long enough. Took long enough. Uh, I don't have Fizz. I'm gonna skip Battle Fury here. I'm gonna keep all the rest though. Don't really see any reason not to. Alright, now that's a little bit of um, exaggeration. But it can get out of hand for him, so I'm actually not too worried about it. Like Jack Butcher, alright. Why did you pass then, dude? Why did you pass? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Gonna be playing two Omen Hawks right now. Nice. Some things on my deck that are gonna be a hell of a buffed. Really buffed. Alright, so there is a pool shark. I know what list he's running. Yeah, this is the one. No point in me um, not blocking here. I'm gonna be pulling, um, playing Starlet's here because there's nothing he can do to kill it. It's a 5-6. He lost Yordle Grifter. Alright. I can actually play Avaros and Trapper as well and uh, feel pretty safe about it. Because he cannot kill it. He just can't. There's nothing he can do to kill this guy. With this amount of mana. 
and also kill Starlet's here. He needs to choose between one or the other. Okay, so he's, he stole my card. Um, fair enough, I guess. I guess I don't attack with with uh, Starlet's here, because this means that I have a card that is going to be very, very difficult to deal with. And I can block with it if I feel the necessity to do so. Okay, so I have Enraged Yeti. Probably going to be playing this one first. I'm always up for a round or two. Don't really mind that. Something for all. If this is going to be his play, I'm probably going to... This next turn, I'm probably going to be... Pilford. Alright. I'm probably going to open attack this next turn, honestly. I'm not even going to play Yordle. I'm not even going to play Yordle here. I'm going to play Patty Officer into a one cost one. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Gonna attack with everything here. He needs to block, otherwise he dies, because that's exact 20 damage. Alright, what else? TF is dying 100%. Which is pretty bad for him, because considering that he just used um, Fury of the North on it, this must feel pretty bad for him to lose Israel right now. Oh, you got from that from my deck. You're a funny individual, aren't you? I got something from your deck as well. And I think mine is bigger than yours, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Next turn, I'm gonna be opening. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for an open attack here because it's gonna be Riptide turn for him as well. So, I'm a little bit far from leveling Sejuani though, which is pretty sad. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. This is Riptide turn, Rex. This is Riptide Rex turn. Gonna be attacking with everything here. He needs to block. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doesn't he have it? Riptide Rex? Weird. Weird. That's actually awkward. I'm gonna be playing this because, um, you know, I'm gonna be... I don't know, I think it's better. Like, um, Warning Shot, I think is more... Guaranteed here, I'm gonna be dealing five damage to his face. And I'll be generating a pretty big body as well. So next turn he cannot go for, um, for instance, Israel and Riptide Rex, right? Which is pretty good for me. I wish I had Fizz, dude. I... Ah, give me Fizz just once, please. Yeah, yeah, Riptide, okay. Enraged Yeti, of course. I'm gonna be playing mine then as well. He got that from my deck, dude. This is so... This is so annoying. He got only three cards, though. He got only three cards. And he got no proper play to make here. Sadly, he got um, Israel leveled up because I didn't draw. Okay, so I, I guess I'm going for a second one here. I guess I'm going for a second one. Oh, so you have another one as well. Oh, too bad for you, buddy. You're not going to use it. 
You're not gonna be using it. All right. Okay. So maybe he got ways to kill these guys, right? Maybe he does. But I mean, he got a, he got to kill all of them. At least two of them, he got to kill. Right? Okay, why blue card? Why blue card? Dude, you could have went for a gold card and you would survive. I mean, you would have to trade, right? But you would survive. Okay, I guess. Good game, probably. Alright, another Israel TF. I think we started it. I think... We started, guys. Oh my god, and I think we got it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Now, I don't really need Fury of the North, considering that I have Yordle. But I think it may be good to have it. I'm not gonna be playing Fizz um, right now. I'm not gonna be playing Fizz right now, though. I'm gonna be keeping Yordle because it generates a warning shot. I've got no reason to play Fizz right now. But if I do, I actually have ways to support him with uh, shared support. <sighs> he doesn't know. I can't waste Fizz right now, though. I can't. I just... Okay, now I kind of can. Now I kind of can play him. Okay. I'm actually passing guys. I'm just gonna bait out some removal out of him. I'm gonna take poor damage, but there's nothing I can do about it. Having Patty Officer here is actually phenomenal. Gonna summon another follower. And Scarred Reaver. Okay. Yordle. Alright. We start, guys. We are starting it. I'm actually attacking with this one, though. I'm not gonna attack with Fizz. There's no point. Nice. I figured he would not block. So I'm actually okay with this. I can't... I actually can play Shard Spoils, because I have Warning Shot. Alright. Pretty good to replenish my hand a little bit. All right, that's actually fine. Only thing I need actually is to keep Fizz alive until I got until I get to Riptide Rex turn. That's pretty much all I need to do. I think I'm playing Yordle just to guarantee. Actually, Petty Officer is so good here as well. I'm gonna be playing Patty Officer. Right? Okay, so there's TF. That doesn't kill Fizz, that's why I was holding my card there. Okay. Come on, I know you have something. Oh, you're not gonna waste your thermo. Because he knows I have a um, warning shot, so makes sense. No, there is no AoE with um, Twisted Fate alive, so I'm gonna be doing a Yordle here. Oh, that's unlucky, okay. So I have a Froil Yord card on, to on the top of my deck. I think I'm playing this. He got Fury of the North, and uh, in that case... Okay, that doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that, dude. Okay. I don't know why you would play that, actually. 
All right. So far, so good. Everos and Trapper is awesome. Very good indeed. All right. Apparently, he got unlucky as well. Um, if I'm playing Everos and Trapper or this guy, which one did I do I play? I'm playing Yordle here, I guess. Yeah, I'm playing Yordle to get another warning shot. <laughs> That's so unlucky. Okay. Do, what do I have? Sejuani? What is it? It has to be Sejuani, right? Hmm. Okay. So I play Averos and Trapper. No big deal. No big deal. Still have blockers. I'm gonna block here, I'm gonna block here, and I'm gonna block here. Alright. Next turn is Riptide Rex turn. I wonder if he's gonna if he's gonna use it. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder guys. Okay. Honestly, I think it's pretty safe for me to drop a unit here. Um, even though he has some things, right? How far from leveling? He's not so far from leveling. But I can't play Entreat. I can play Entreat. But Sejuani may die. That much is certain. Do I have Leto? I don't, right? Fizz doesn't give me Leto. I can play Enraged. I can play Enraged Yeti here. No big deal. Uh huh. Bring it! Bring it, boy! Alright. Now you're screwed, buddy. You're goddamn screwed. You're goddamn screwed right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna play Sejuani. I don't have lethal yet. If I do this, I'm gonna have seven. If I do this, I'm gonna have more than that. And I'm gonna be removing TF as well. So I think maybe this is the play to go for. this he's gonna go down to five not enough I'm gonna be doing this so he's obliged to block right okay all right so do you have another one buddy do you have another one huh bring it Bring it to me! Yeah, I know you have it. I know you have it, buddy. Gonna be giving that one vulnerable. I know you have it, buddy. Like, you, you got eight mana there, and you have a warning shot in hand. Do you think I'm stupid? Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, Fizz showing how it goes. God damn, Fizz is amazing. Yeah, god damn. Okay, good game. Good game, good game, yeah. Uh, that's gonna hurt. I don't know if I can win against mid range Frostbite. I think I can't. I think I can't. Oh my god, how do I do this? Crap. Um, I think I can't win. I think I can't win. Because you see, um, he got Reckoning. He got a lot of units that are very hard to remove. 
he got frostbite that's probably a very hard counter to the deck so even though we got the benefit of screwing up with Israel we can't win them all right we cannot win them all but I mean we gotta try we gotta try We gotta try. I think Avaros and Trapper is the play here. I think Avaros and Trapper is the play. Okay. Alright. Try Fairy and Glory Seeker. Okay. I wonder if he's gonna open attack. I think he will not. Which is a problem for me. I wish he would. Yeah, he won't. So I'm gonna have to do this. Ray for the best, fellas. I'm gonna be taking five though. I'm not gonna block this. There's no way I block this thing. Alright. I wish Frostbite was not um I wish Frostbite was not burst speed I don't know at least not all of the of the of the spells right well, I wish not all the spells were frostbite were like this I think I never attack with both of them here he's gonna block here he kind of has to really that's the best outcome for me buddy that's the very best outcome Okay, I'm actually gonna go for Entreat here, just to be more mana efficient. Alright, so there's Fist. I, I used three spells already. Okay. Victory requires a sharp blade. I'm gonna make it so that he can't attack with um, Sejuani, with um, Ash. They try fair and assessor, really. Alright. It's a little bit more annoying than I wish, but I guess I'm okay with that. I don't want that thing dying. Um, at least not for this, so. Okay. I can level up Fizz though. I can. And actually I will. Uh, this is the perfect reckoning though, but if I, if he goes for reckoning, Fizz is gonna be massive. Fizz is gonna be huge. Go for reckoning now, I dare you. I dare you to go for reckoning, buddy. I dare you to do it. I dare you. You're not manly enough. You're not manly enough. Okay, so he doesn't have it. If he did, he would have used it. Alright. So here I think the only option I really have is to go for make it rain to activate um, Fizz, right? And uh, then I'm probably gonna pass. Okay. My Sejuani is closer to leveling up than he is, than, than his. So... I guess I should not attack with anything else besides Fizz. It actually doesn't make any sense. Considering that I have Riptide Rex, right? Um, I think it's pretty safe for me to do this. Alright. Now, the problem is that he's gonna open attack, I guess. And if he does, I'm gonna be pretty sad. But I think it makes sense for him to open attack. This is turn 8, dude. This is turn 8. So if he doesn't attack, he's very ballsy. But I mean, I'm playing Sejuani Fez, right? There's a very high possibility that I'm not playing Riptide Rex. Um, so yeah, maybe he doesn't open attack. He decides to try and some do something else first. Okay. All right, that's fine. So I'm gonna be doing it like this. I'm gonna be doing it like this. Like this, I'm actually, I actually need to block Sejuani a little bit better. Like this, probably. 
And I kind of have to go for a... Um, Okay, this is better. Like, um, he needs to go for a double Fury of the North to win this game. And in that case, though... This is the only thing that kills me. Double Fury of the North. Okay, he doesn't have it. Nice. Okay. So I'm gonna go for a warning shot onto Riptide Rex. Right? Okay, do I remove everything? Almost. I think this is good enough. I think this is good enough. I think it is. I'm gonna have to wait and see, but I think it might be good enough. Sadly, he still got a lot of freeze on his deck, right? Um, so this might be a little bit difficult still. Okay, so Fizz is dead. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I could have tried to save Fury of the North, but if I did save Fury of the North, then how do I freaking win the game, right? If I worry about that. Um, I think Yordle is not what I want. I need to go for Sejuani here. I need to go for Sejuani. Um, he probably has a freeze. So, yeah. He undoubtedly has a, has a freeze, though. Like, there is no way he doesn't have it. There is actually no way he does not have it, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do I win this, then? This is so difficult. But, I mean, it's exactly what I said before, right? This is the hardest counter there is. On my on on um on the ladder for now for this deck okay so i'm gonna be doing it like this and i'm actually gonna block here do i survive with one hp i don't so yeah that is game um as I said, like, I mean, if you want to count one thing, counter one thing, you're probably not going to be countering the other. So you can't have very favorable matchups on every, you know, type of deck that is on the top of the ladder, right? If you're going to build something that is off meta, most often you're going to be able to counter only one or two things at best, not all the meta at once. Okay, so we're going against the same aggro guy that we did before. He was trying something I don't remember. It was the first game that I played with this deck, I guess. I'm gonna be keeping everything that I have. I think it kind of makes sense. I think Pocket Aces is a little bit weird, though, so I'm gonna be skipping that. Alright, so I have Omen Hawks for days. Decent. Like every Frail Your deck, right? We always have Omen Hawk. We always do. <laughs> okay, Riptide. Alright, maybe I should have opened it, um, went for an open attack, but no matter. Yeah, no matter. Okay, and I attacked there because I think it's kind of important to get the level up on Sejuani. This one needs to die. This guy needs to die. This one I don't really care all that much, but this guy needs to die. He's probably thinking about buffing it and trying to kill Patty Officer to make this guy survive. Yeah. Or something like that. Because this is how he kind of, you know, 
gets damage off. But, um, you know, playing like this is not something that really bothers me, because this deck of his doesn't really have many ways to... It doesn't really have many ways... Okay, so this is buffed twice, this is buffed once. I'm gonna be going for Yordle first, because it's more pressure. Right for... For 4 mana, there is nothing really he can do to stop this from happening. Yeah. Okay, so I do put a lot of pressure on him. Because it's a 5-5, five, five, right? Okay, so there's Fist. I'm gonna be playing Starlet Seer now. Alright. So I'm blocking here. This guy is here. This is the most important to kill. So I'm gonna be dealing um, the most damage that I can with it, right? He might buff this to try and uh, kill Starlet Seer. I mean, it would make sense, at least. But I have Fear of the North in case he's win he's going for Might. So I know that the this card right here is a combat trick, right? Okay, don't really care much about that. This right here is a combat trick. I would guess this is Might. I would guess that's Might. Uh, I'm gonna go for Arena Battle Chaser because I would like to pressure him the most that I can. Alright. I'm gonna go for Fizz. I'm gonna open attack next turn with all I have. I think playing Sejuani would um, leave a, a window for him to try to stop me here. Alright. I'm gonna be doing this because I can protect Teemo, right? I, I can protect um, Fizz. In case he tries to kill it. He has only three cards in hand. I know this card this card right there is a combat trick. Yeah, I thought that this would happen, so I'm gonna go for entreat and stop that. So I guess he doesn't have anything else. Yeah. Fun, isn't it? Damn, I love this deck. Okay, that's interesting. That's so fun. Alright. Good game. Good game, guys. Good game indeed. Okay, interesting. I love Fizz. He's so cool.